Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 53, and today we have loads of exciting updates to go through about James Gunn's Superman movie coming out next year. But we're gonna start with the Superman trailer once again, because we have had some breaking news regarding that update. One person asked Gunn if the trailer was complete, and Gunn said it isn't, but he worked on it this weekend. And then another user asked if he has any plans for Brazil with DC, and Gunn said Brazil is always important to him. And then finally, an insider by the name of Cryptic HD Quality commented on DC Film News' post about the Superman trailer saying, coming December for sure, along with some other big trailers. Now I would say he is very reliable when confirming when trailers are on their way. He's probably the best in the business at it. So I think this confirms that the trailer will be released at Brazil's CCXP in December. I am almost 100% certain that it will be released then. But now let's move on to some spoiler territory. The McFarlane toy listing for Superman has been revealed and some very interesting toys have been released. Firstly, it says Lex Luthor with baby kaiju. Yeah, as in like a small version of Godzilla. Kaiju is a Japanese term referring to giant monsters like Godzilla and so on. And apparently Superman has a baby Kaiju in this movie. Now I won't lie, this has got me concerned but also very excited. This could come off as extremely goofy or it could come off as an incredible display of the diverse and unique nature of the DCU. It really depends on the execution of that scene. The issue is that Gunn knows how to do both and has done both. I would say he is included very goofy elements in his other films, but also some very incredible unique moments that come across as awesome. The difference is the tone of the film. This film, whilst it is lighter, isn't a full-on comedy and won't be treated like his Guardians films. He's already confirmed that. So in concept, this should be showing off the uniqueness of the universe and not the goofiness. And just because it says it's a kaiju doesn't mean it's a small version of Godzilla. The MCU has technically had had kaiju in their films like in the Avengers and Doctor Strange films, but neither time did they feel goofy at all. So I'm not going to jump the gun and say this will automatically be goofy. It will definitely be something we have never really seen before on the big screen with Superman, so I am excited for that at the very least. Now let's talk about another character revealed on the list. If we look further down this list, we can see that it says Ultraman is in the movie. Now this is huge. This is a character that had been rumored and theorized to be in the film for a long time now. And it looks like the man in black is actually Ultraman all along. Now I think this Ultraman is a clone made by Lex Luthor, potentially in the Fortress of Solitude. And my previous theory theorized that maybe Crypto was a powerless dog who got experimented on and became a superpowered dog, and then they used his superpowers to create the clone. But some great viewers reminded me that Gunn confirms that Crypto will be an alien dog in the movie. So now I have adjusted that theory and I think what maybe happens is either Crypto starts in possession of Luther or somehow is obtained by Luther and they extract his DNA to use in Luther's clone of Superman. So I think Ultraman looks like this at this point in time because Luther wants his identity to be a secret. But the U on his chest is just a hint at who he is. Either he wants him to replace Superman as a version of the hero that Luther can control or he is trying to frame Superman with Ultraman and maybe this darker and slightly different suit that was the first ever image revealed of this Superman movie is actually Ultraman dressed as Superman. I think it would make so much sense as to why this image was our first look at the movie. We as the audience thought something was off but still assumed it was Superman and so do the people of Metropolis in this actual film. I am certain that this is a darker suit and the collar is slightly different to the version we have seen on set. So I think at some point, maybe after Superman is arrested, Ultraman puts on a darker, slightly different and more damaged version of the suit and pretends to be Superman to either frame him or maybe replace him. I just think when you look at this first look at Superman, the tone is all wrong for a new Superman movie, especially when we keep hearing how much brighter and happier 
player it is going to be. You know what? I'm going to go bold and say that this first look at Superman is actually Ultraman. And our reaction to this first look was perfect because it shows you how well they have done it. We could tell something was off, but the majority just assumed it was still Superman. I think they have been sneaky, and this is actually Ultraman putting on a Superman suit that has slight but clear differences to Superman's actual suit. It's to throw us off the scent, and the initial backlash to it will be forgotten when we find out that this was actually Ultraman all along. The colour of the suit, the collar being different, the tone of the image, and even the facial expression of David Corrinsweet are not ones of hope and optimism. This is either a terrible first look at Superman, or a genius marketing tactic and foreshadowing that has gone under so many people's noses. He looks like Superman, but something is off and the people of Metropolis will probably feel that too. And to expand on that theory, I then think what happens is that Ultraman becomes his own being and Luther can no longer control him. And while Luther egotistically refuses to let Superman out of a Red Sun prison to stop Ultraman, the engineer breaks Superman out and that's how she redeems herself and leads her into the authority movie where she becomes more of a hero. Now Gunn said this a while back, the primary protagonist of Superman is shockingly Superman. The main villain of Superman Superman is shockingly Lex Luthor. I don't know where all the stuff is coming from that it is something other than this. There are so many stories coming out every day it's difficult to deal with and every time I strike something down I'm giving it attention. So I'll say again, don't believe anything unless you see it here. And why would you want to know everything before the movie comes out anyway? And people have taken this as Gunn saying that Lex Luthor is the only villain of the movie and that simply isn't true. All this means is that Luther is the primary or main villain of the film, and that is still the case with Ultraman being in it. Some are twisting this to make it seem like Gunn is lying, but I just think that goes to show that some out there have a vendetta against him. What he has said is completely true, but that doesn't mean Ultraman also isn't in the film. Why would he openly admit that so early on in production? But so that is a lot of exciting information in one episode. We basically have a confirmed trailer date for the Superman movie, and we know that Ultraman is in the film, and so is a baby kaiju of sorts. Now today I was in Cambridge, which is a beautiful city in England, and I walked past a shop called Forbidden Planet, and on the display were some DC characters, so it caught my eye. I decided I'd have a look inside, and as soon as I walked in, one book was right in front of me. This one, All-Star Superman, the story that the Superman movie is inspired by. What are the chances of that? And so I felt I had to buy it, which means this is the first graphic novel I have ever purchased, and I think this was an appropriate start. And I thought I would share this with you, as I will be giving you guys my thoughts on it once I've finished reading it, and I can't wait to learn more about this All-Star Superman and see that reflected in the Superman movie next year. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.